What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Sit Down Saturday, and I am back from California, so we are back in business. We're hitting the ground running, and we're moving full speed ahead. I've already had to rearrange videos so that you guys could get the combined mode up within a week and all that kind of stuff, so don't worry. More stuff is coming. We got the other train bot next week. All sorts of stuff is in motion already. Today, we're going to be doing a versus of the X-Trans bots and the uh, Fans Toys Trail Breakers. I don't know which way this is going to go. I know I prefer the Fans Toys visually but i think i prefer it for a lot of the reasons that may end up making it at least tie if not lose but we will cross that bridge as we get there a little bit of housekeeping not much i reviewed the three zero prime as long as i have the opportunity to i will continue to review three zero products i will continue to review flame toys products why because i think that they are fantastic overall do they have some misses? Sure. Does everybody? Absolutely. But I think they make a great product, and therefore, I will continue to review them. Do I know that they do not transform? Of course I do. Do I care? No. If you do, don't watch them. Stop being a clown. And I'm not talking to the people that say, you know, like it, love it, whatever, not for me. I'm talking to the people that get stupid. It doesn't transform. If you want to get mad at somebody for it not transforming, get mad at Hasbro. But you don't want to do that, do you? So let's just move on. Trailbreaker, the fans was it finally arrived. A lot of talk about the flap on the neck. And if you put down the two tabs first and then the other tab, I said in the video, it is possible to get it plugged in. It's just not easy. And it has a tendency to want to pop out. All those things remain true in spite of what you tab in, at least for me. I can only judge what I have. I think there is a conversation to be had, though, about the amount of figures that have been produced for Trailbreaker and how that might have an impact on excitement. But we'll hold that off for another time. All in all, I'm, I'm content with my purchase. Happy? Eh. Content is probably the best word. No regrets. Or regrets. And with that being said, we can go ahead and get into this versus. Let's go ahead and get started, but you know where we need to start. And we'll start with accessories. And accessory-wise, it has to go to X-Transbots. X-Transbots comes with a number of different swap-out pieces for the wrist for alternate hand options. It comes with an, a toy head. It comes with the effect to go on the force field thing. Whereas the fans toys pretty much just comes with the rifle and some faces and a hand. Gimmicks wise, the doors open on the fans toys. I can't remember the doors open or not on the X-Transbots, but X-Transbots also comes with all of the kind of log sitting stuff and just all of, like X-Transbots really has the accessory game on lock. I think that they're the best company, third party or official on the planet in terms of transformer accessories. And as a result, they take this category. Gimmicks, I'll tie them out, but they definitely take this category. So let's move on to build and materials. To be fair, they're both built well. The materials both feel good. They're both structurally sound. They both use die cast. So I don't think there's really enough here if one the edge over the other. If we take that and compare it to the hardware, Fans Toys takes it. They have additional hardware both. They have additional hardware in the hips, whereas they both have soft ratchets in the shoulders, albeit used differently, and they both have ratchets in the knees. But Fans Toys takes it on account of the hips. And with that, I think we can move on. So let's move on to sculpt and paint. And I'm going to say this, they're both fully painted pretty much. So they're gonna tie in most of the paint. There are a couple little deco things here and there that I'm gonna give one the edge over the other, but they're very similar. Let me say this, I prefer the fans toys, aesthetically, easily, 100%. But I do think that the X-Transbots looks more tune accurate. So I think it's trying to kind of achieve a different thing. I like the proportions better on the fans toys, but they're not really accurate. The proportions of the X-Trans bots are more accurate. I like the chest better on the fans toys, but the X-Trans bots looks more accurate to me. I like the chrome detailings and darker translucent on the fans toys. I like some of the smaller paint detailings, like the four wheel drive stuff on the side here, along with the little stripe details on the legs a bit more. So I, I have to, I have to tie them out. Even though my preference is the fans toys, to try to be fair, I have to tie them out. All right, and then top to bottom, we'll start with the head. And I'll be honest, I think the Fans Toys head looks better, but I think the X-Transbots head is more tune accurate, so I can get how people would prefer it. But while I think the Fans Toys head looks better, I like the placement of the force field generator, which I think is that thing with the three circle things, better on the X-Transbots, where it seems a little crowded to me on the Fans Toys. So I'm going to tie them out there. They're both painted, so nothing to really talk about there. From the side, once again, I think it's a wash. I think you could nitpick little things that you prefer about one over the other. 
other, but nothing significant enough to give one the edge over the other. As for the arm, once again, the paint is the same and the sculpt is almost identical. Obviously, the x Transpos has that square in the middle of it, but I don't think that's enough to kind of give one the edge over the other. Some of the engineering of the shoulder is a little bit wonky, but it's not super noticeable unless you're looking for it. So this to me is a tie as well. From the side, I mean, kind of the same deal, right? Neither of them clean up perfect, but neither of them look bad. They're both fully painted and the sculpts are almost identical. So this is a weird spot. So I prefer, once again, the look of the fans toys. But I do think that the x Transbots gets closer to kind of representing the cartoon more. I just think as a result, it doesn't look as good. But where I have to give fans toys the edge is in the deco. The darker translucent makes a big deal and it really is an eyesore seeing all of the innards on the x Transbots. And that is what edges them out here. Not sculpt, deco. From the side, once again, I think the Fans Toys is more purposeful, it's more put together, it's more solid looking and cohesive. So the chest torso area is going to Fans Toys. I mean, look, are there differences? Yes. Are they really worth mentioning? I think not. So look, this is a place where I feel like people will say I'm just defanding them, but there is a better aesthetic here. And it's because of multiple reasons. The hip looks more full, doesn't have the gap that the X-Transbots does. And then the casing for the thigh comes up closer and it just makes the thing feel more together. It makes it feel more complete. So I gotta give the hips to fans toys. For the legs, I mean, they're almost identical. The red knees both have the circle and and the sort of ladder detailings. They have the separate red stripe, then they have the kind of ladder detailings for the bit that goes from the knee to the shin, and then the shin has the white stripe. Like, they're almost identical. This is part of the problem with a lot of the competition these days. From the side, I actually prefer the x Transbots. I don't like that hole in the knee, but I do like the deco better and a little bit more interesting sculpt in the lower leg. I know it's not as clean, but I just prefer it. The Fans Toys just looks unremarkable to me. Aside from the upper thigh, but we've already kind of given Fans Toys credit for that for the hip. And to close it out from the back, I think it's negligible. Yes, the Fans Toys looks better with the screw stuff being a bit better hidden. This is actually one of Fans Toys better offerings in regards to their screws, but I don't think it's that remarkably better. And Fans Toys already kind of won anyway. So Fans Toys takes the torso so mainly due to two reasons, the side view and the darker translucent deco. It also takes the hips because it cleans up the side of the hips and thighs, which is the same reason why the thighs take it because they both work in concert to kind of make it work and cover up the gaps, which X Transbots doesn't. But I prefer X Transbots lower legs due to a little bit of added detail and a little bit of more nods that there is a vehicle there somewhere, which I kind of like, not too much, but some, but also the added deco accents that come through in the, uh, in the X-Transbots kind of takes that category for me. So Fans Toys takes it three to one. What's interesting about this is in how much they tie. Head, arms, and the overall back and front view. Articulation wise, it's almost a complete sweep the opposite direction. Deformation space takes almost everything with the exception of the hands because x Transbots does have those awkward, independently, individually articulated fingers and the ankles because x Transbots just offers more in that department. They tie at the bicep and thighs as most do. They also tie at the wrist as both tend to do, but deformation space takes everything. It's just a better, well-engineered figure in that regard. The action figure engineering of deformation space is just but flat out superior. Let's go through articulation. So the head on the X-Transbots is a hinged swivel. You get up to there, you get down to there, and you get the swivel, no confused dog look. You get these bits, they do rotate side to side, back and forth, and then does this do anything up there? Negative. This one goes up and down, and then this one goes up and down. So you get three hinges here. Fans Toys is a ball peg. You get up to there, more limited. You get down to there, which is barely anything. You get the swivel and you get the confused dog look. So you get one extra bit of motion, but I think the range of motion across the board is higher on the x Transbots. You get this, which is a swivel back and a swivel here, and then you get a swivel at the base and a ball peg for this one. So, I don't know, that's more articulated also, so I'll probably have to tie them out. Shoulders, you have a, a movement inside the body. It doesn't really get you anything extra. It gets the arm out to 90 degrees on this soft ratcheted hinge here. Then you get the swivel around. Shoulder, same deal, ratcheted around and then up. As long as you manipulate the, uh, the side mirror here, you can get it out to 90 degrees as well. Bicep swivel, bicep swivel. Single hinged elbow that gets you 90 degrees. Single hinged elbow that gets you more than 90 degrees. 
Thumb is on a ball peg with a secondary hinge, base pin knuckle, and then that's it for the fingers. And actually the three fingers here are connected. Same for the thumb, but the fingers are all individually articulated with a base pin and then secondary knuckle. Waist swivel, no ab crunch. Waist swivel, ab crunch. Universals for hips that get you the full Van Dam. And if you get these out of the way, I mean, pretty close to the full Monty. Fans toys, universals for hips that get you the full Van Dam. But not as much for the full Monty, although you wouldn't need it. Thigh swivel, thigh swivel. Double jointed knee for the full range. Single hinge knee for a little bit more than 90 degrees. No ankle tilt down, no ankle tilt up, but you do get a toe hinge down and a toe hinge up and an ankle rocker. No real, I mean, a slight ankle tilt down, slight ankle tilt up, and, a, and a, to be fair, a limited rocker. As for articulation, tied game, which is interesting because this is usually a category where Fans Toys loses. And I'll be honest with you, I think the categories here that Fans Toys wins are going to be more useful most of the time, specifically with the torso, the elbow, and the hands. All three. The only one that I think will be of more use for X Transbots is the head. But once again, what's interesting is how they tie in shoulders, bicep, wrist, thighs, and ankles. But X Transbots head and knees will certainly help that figure look more dynamic. But fans toys, I think all of their categories are helping them. All right. So looking at this, the top pretty much of the chest of Ratchet, but specifically Ironhide, should come up to the top of the hood on Trailbreaker. And if we do that, on both sides, I personally think it's negligible. But X Transbots is the one that's most in scale. Now, the green bar also goes through the middle of Inferno's visor, or uh, eyes pretty much. And the green bar goes pretty much across the top of the neck of Trailbreaker. Once again, X Transbots, I don't know if you can see that, is pretty much right on the money. Fans Toys is a little smaller. So I think objectively, we have to give it to X Transbots here. Now, in a weird twist of fate, when it comes to transformation, I gotta give it to Fans Toys. The X Transbots, ironically, it's not one of their worst transformations, but it's certainly not one of their better ones. And they are not the best in terms of engineering. They get a pass for some reason, people don't often point it out, but there's a lot of weird things that X Transbots does engineering-wise. Every now and then they come across this sort of peaceful field and meadow of well-done engineering, specifically, my, I think the best example would probably be the Stunicons, but oftentimes it's, it's messy it, and it's clumsy and not user friendly and this one is no exception and it's one of their better ones whereas fans toys in recent times I would say like the last 12 to 18 months their transformations have just been getting smoother more straightforward less complicated but more effective and something needs to be said for that and one of the things that's going to be said for it is them winning this category alt mode I have to give it to X-Transbots. I just think it looks more like a truck. It looks more like a proper truck and less like it was a robot that turned into a truck. And I think that the Fans Toys truck mode looks way better in hand. I just don't think it looks better than the X-Transbots. Now, obviously we're looking at the X-Transbots black version of the truck, which I do think looks better than the tuned version of the truck. It's got a user from older videos. But nonetheless, even with the color deco, I just think sculpt-wise, it's just a better, more realistic looking truck. Now you could say that maybe the Fans Toys is more cartoon accurate. I'm not sure if that's even true, but I would give you that, but I'm, I'm not even sure if I feel the same way. I think that they're both kind of a far cry from the cartoon. And I think that the X-Transbots is overall just more successful. All right, which one do you think looks better? The right. The right. Okay. And which one do you think feels better? Well, I thought I don't get to touch it anymore. Yeah, well, people ask for it, even though it doesn't really weigh into the... I mean, I guess still the right. Yeah, no, I agree. All right. Thank you. All right, Jaina, which one looks better? This one. Okay. This one you're saying? Yeah. And which one feels better? This one's joints feel weird. They're like... It's like a set. So you like this joints better? I like that joints better, but I like this feel better because it's heavier. Okay, which one looks better? I like this one. This one. And which one do you like the feel of better? They both kind of felt the same. Uh -huh. And I think I enjoyed that one. Okay. <laughs> which one looks better? Purple. Wait, this one? Yes. Okay. Which one feels better? The shiny one. <laughs> this one? No. I haven't cleaned up both of them. Or 
This one. This one? Yes. Oh, wow. So, so, just for the sake of the camera, you think this one feels better? Yes. Okay. Accuracy wise, I think it needs to go to X Transbots. And I say that to Fans Toys credit. I think the Fans Toys one looks better because it looks less like the cartoon than the X Transbots. But the general kind of proportions are more childish, whereas the general proportions of the Fans Toys are more heroic. And you could argue that that makes it less like the character. And while I disagree, I understand that perspective. But that's why I think the Fans Toys looks better because it looks less like the cartoon. But because it looks less like the cartoon, X Transbots has to win the category. So they tie in gimmicks, mainly because I'm not even sure what to consider a gimmick or an accessory out of X Transbots, but they kind of toe the line in that area. But we have to give accessories X Transbots. Their build and materials are fairly equal. They're both built well. The materials both feel good. They tie in articulation. I personally think the Fan Toys articulation is more useful, but they tie there. They tie in paint because they're both painting the hell out of their figures these days. Fan Toys takes the hardware and the sculpt as well as surprisingly the transformation, which we do need to talk about at some point, and the overall presence. Whereas X Transbots takes the accessories because they have a ton, obviously, the scale category, which is super negligible, the alt mode, which doesn't matter to some, the price, which is about $50 cheaper, and I have to give them the accuracy as well for a total score of 5-4 X Transbots, which I do think is interesting, but I also want to make it clear, I think the Fans Toys is a better figure. I prefer it aesthetically, but aesthetics is what matters for me. I also think that it'll hold up better under transformation, so that might matter to you as well. It's just that they take a lot of categories sort of by the skin of their teeth or categories that don't necessarily pertain to the strength of a display. And it's worth noting. So yeah, I'll tell you, it's a bit of an upset. It's a bit of an upset for me too, because I don't feel like they should have lost. But maybe that's what makes the verses a little bit more objective than subjective, hopefully. That's the goal anyway. And I think a lot of those things are negligible, right? I think the scale is negligible. I think like, you know, how many accessories do you really care about? All the kind of things that go on, right? It all comes down to subjective taste and what you want. This thing wins sculpt, that's big for me. It wins presence, that's big for me. It tied with paint, so it didn't lose to paint. And all those three things are the things that matter most to my collection. They may matter to yours the most as well. And I think that that's fair. I think that overall is fair. I have a lot of topics that I want to get into. I got to flesh some of them out for the next upcoming weeks. Some of them may be a bit controversial and ruffle a few feathers, but hey, maybe it's just that time of year. I get hot in the summer. I get a little, I get a little edgy. I get a little agitated. It might be time to just spread the love. All right. So I'll be back soon. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.